One is on meds currently because of possible ringworm. So that's being taken care of today, as of now. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. I know. I gotta get you out so don't shit in the kennel anymore. He's double coated. Hi, Tabby. Uh, they're both up today on the vaccination. <coughs> we have their papers in the car. And the current med medication she's on is it's two different types for, you know, the ringworm and everything. And so her, sh <laughs> hush, buddy. So her next baby shot is actually coming up pretty fast in December. And all his is due, surprisingly, on my birthday in June, all at once. And then in January, she's got a fecal test coming up too. So, otherwise... No, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying the vetting is an issue. Is this pet pee that's back here that he's laying in? Yeah, he does that. The... Guys, stop, stop. This is why I have zip ties on it. So he doesn't bust out and go after that brown dog over there. Yeah. Now, how much time do they spend in these kennels? Um, we can't have him out because he will bust out within the hour. Just go play around with that brown dog and everything. So with her, she's out, but he gets taken out almost every every hour, two hours. But otherwise, in the mornings, they get a huge bowl of dog food. And then in the evening, if, it's not, if it doesn't start raining around 5.30 or so, then they get a second bowl of dog food. No, but, no, no, that, uh, and, and, and it's not like they're Hush, hush. Both these dogs look like they're eating it. Yeah, yeah, hush dice. That, that's not the issue. That, that's cool. But otherwise, I have to have the zip ties on him because on Sunday, he literally took these off and the whole thing came from falling down. Okay. Otherwise, we are actually working on getting a fence okay. built for them both. And so. then he's going to get a fence. Yeah, they're both going to be in the same okay, fence here, line. Here, here's what the law says. I'm going to give you the paperwork for the law um, on detaining these animals. Uh, because the head is fine. The babies is fine. You've got the paperwork. Yeah. Um, let's walk out. Dice, nice. stop it. I usually have to do this because he... Down, buddy. I'll be back, bud. But, I mean, like... Uh, we're working on the fence, possibly. Getting, like, a big enough fence for them. So they both have run around and everything. Okay. So... You're taking as far as healthy wise feeding and watering that kind yeah. of thing. Y'all are good. You're in yeah. the other deputy checked. You've got your shot rack. Yeah. That. So, so that's not the complaint, and that's not even my concern. Uh huh. The concern is the fact that, for one, the dog that you tether up, yeah, there's laws, and you are right now not doing that law. The five times the length of the dog is the tether. That's not going to be five times the length of the okay. dog. So you got to get a longer tether if you're going to tether them up. Uh, well, we have her on a chain leash wrapped to, like, looped around its handle. And then we have her on her... Dice, stop! I, I see it laying there. And I'm telling you, by yeah. what I can see laying there, that's not going to be long enough for a tether. Okay. And there's also tethering restrictions. And that's why I'm going to give you the paperwork so that you're okay. aware. Because we're fixing to get into some bad weather. We're going to get into colder weather. Yeah, there's, that's there's why we have. That's mainly why we have a tarp at night. Because in with the, winter, the cold weather coming. That's not going to be enough in the winter. Yeah, we got to get, like, I think we're going to buy them, like, a big um, blanket. Like, one of those bedding blankets. And put it over them. So that way they can, you know, try to keep some of the warm. You gotta be careful because it has to be adequate yeah. shelter, and a blanket over a cage like that's not considered adequate shelter. And okay. it's gonna define adequate shelter in here to you, okay? okay? And I'm gonna leave this with you so that you and your mom can review it because okay. right now, with what we've got coming up, for one, you cannot leave that yeah. dog in that kennel 24 7. I mean, we don't. We just, like, he's mainly in there so he doesn't run off or anything. And I get that because you don't want the neighbors complaining that the dogs yeah, I are mean, loose and you're doing what you can I mean, for that. the one across the street's already complaining about the dog, so. You still, you cannot leave them in a crate like that 24 7. Uh, I'll tell you. I that. mean, I take, like, I've been actually 
taking them out for walks okay. when it's like this. And then he gets his food before I take them for a walk, of course. But I've been taking them one at a time because I can show one dog at a time eat a lot easier. The one's right, and, uh, and, and I'm not saying that pullier. you're not taking care of them. It's, yeah. it's the containment that you've got going on right okay. now. But it's yeah, like not, I said, we're not... trying to get funds for a somewhat huge fence to where it doesn't go close to the AC unit or to my aunt's dog pen. But, yeah, also enough to where during the summer we can put, like, the tarp over the fence line and somewhat protect them from the sun while you're leaving them some sun and protect the water, of course. And that, from that's it. great, and I hope that all works for you. But yeah. in the meantime, what you're doing, you're going to have to adjust it some, okay? Uh, we'll try to figure something out. So, I'm going to leave this. Nice is considered stop. unlawful restraint of an animal. Okay. And it, it breaks it down for you, just like it tells you in here as far as restraining oh. those animals. Yeah, we'll try to find the hours my, that yeah. you can, how long they can be tied up like that. Uh, well, mine's not allowed. They're both not allowed inside. And they don't have to be inside dogs. And okay. the tethering is, is something that you can do as long uh -huh. as the lead is long enough. Okay. And you can do it for certain hours during the day. Depending on the weather, it's all, uh, you know. But yeah, it, like it, around it this time. Right here. And, and uh, you've got to get that dog out of that pen some. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. You can't just stay in that pen. No, we, like I said, we've been taking them for walks lately. And oh. so he goes out maybe an hour or two after he eats so that way he can have his food digestion and everything. Mm -hmm. And then he does his business back there because that's as far as I can take him without their right. brown dogs out. Because he will yank and pull and break off the collar. Yeah, and I get that. And that's what he did. Like, oh. we've had him on a i think a 20 foot chain mm -hmm. with the stake on it and he pulled that out of the ground well, and bent this and bent the stake it's sand it won't hold yeah that's the only problem i wish poles, it would but you've got poles here that you could utilize yeah. to give him some exercise room to let him stretch his legs and yeah that's feed. that's what i've been doing with him is letting him out every other every hour to two hours okay. give or take depending you know on his bathroom <laughs> But otherwise, like I said, he's usually roaming in the back right yard on the, on the leash. Yeah, that one is. Now, you just told me that the, the, the shell, shelly, shelty looking one that you keep up in there. Yeah, he's in the back. Yeah, we do that same thing with him, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you these rules because here's uh, what we're going to continue to follow up on the dogs. Because if okay. the dogs start having issues where I can tell that you're not taking them out every hour. Because okay. you can tell. Because their legs will start to lose hair. Their movement yeah, will start to get better. Yeah, that bad. was the problem with my dog. But we found out it was ringworm. Well, ringworm won't do anything when it comes to their movement. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's the weight and everything. Yeah. yeah. So here are the rules. Uh -huh. The state requires... And I'm going to leave them for you because uh, you, you, you got to be careful. Because yeah. that's, that's considered uh, cruel punishment yeah. if you leave them in a cage all the but time. But now, like, Lady Across the Street came over here on without me even knowing. And her her brown dog came over and I'm like, back away or the dog will get out. We'll literally push down the gate and get out. Okay. I don't want that because I don't want him getting hit. And I don't want a lawsuit on him. Right. Because okay. that's my mom's boy. That's my mom's baby. And, and, okay. Now you can comprehend and understand yeah. all of this? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave it with you. Um, and y'all are okay. going to have to make some arrangements to start getting these dogs out. And their tethers have okay. to be longer. Yeah. We'll try to find some, yeah. the weather that's in here. That oh, you can and yeah. cannot do during the weather. Even yeah. rain. <clears throat> Heavy rain. There are things you cannot and can't do. That tarp. Okay. That's not going to be sufficient. Okay. Um, leaving them in that box is not going to be sufficient. Okay. okay. So I'm going to leave this. Y'all read it. And, and comply. Um, okay. Otherwise, you can start to receive citations. And after the citations, if you don't make a reasonable effort to correct this, mm -hmm. you can actually be charged with a, a criminal offense okay. for the dogs, okay? Uh, offense, great idea. And I know it's hard sometimes to be able to get the yeah, like, to get the fence. The, I get like, that. We call it tractor supply, and they, and they call it almost $400. That's, that's my paycheck right there. Right. And it is expensive, but it when you is. have animals, you gotta gotta do a little more than we what got. We're right trying, yeah. We've been okay. trying to get out of here lately, and there's like none of no one wants us because we because one's a full blood pit and the other one's a pit healer, and with all the stigma against the pits, yeah. they don't want them in the house, right? Or even on the property, even if they're renting. I'm like, come on now, they're the sweet dogs. Yeah, they're both protective. My mom and I. But he's more protective of my dog because that's his little girlfriend. Yeah. They bonded the minute they met. So he's going to be more protective of my dog's trying to protect me. Mm -hmm. In case like someone was to come up to me, 
<laughs> well, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. But you gotta you gotta do a little more for their health. Yeah. That restraint system, that's not it's not gonna work. Okay? Hold on, buddy. Pay attention to the weather. Pay attention to yeah, how long we've you been watching. Yeah, we've been watching yeah. the weather since it's got a lot colder. But I'm telling you, pay attention to how long you can leave them in those crates. Like okay. That. How long their leads need to be? Because uh, physically they look good. You're feeling. Yeah. You're doing what you're supposed to do. But this also goes back to tending and caring yeah, for okay. So read it, try to comply, and I'll okay. be back to check on it, and we'll see what we can do to try to help make that happen, okay? okay? All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am.